Welcome to the quick start overview of Zagile's Wicked Smart. First, we'll give you some context. In the middle, you see the software development lifecycle stages, from market research, business case, market requirements, etc., all the way to status reports and bug tracking. On the left, you see the various aspects of business sponsors, requirements, strategy, business cases, and focus groups. On the right, we see the various aspects of business management, sales, customer support, etc. Information flow is critical for projects, and particularly for distributed software engineering projects. Repetitive, inconsistent, or incomplete information impedes progress and efficiency of your teams. Zagile Wicked Smart dramatically reduces the requirement for meetings, phone conferences, and emails by automating information content flow and making content easy to find. So your team can focus on innovation instead of finding information. So how does Zagile do it? Well, all Zagile products, including Wicked Smart, use a semantic repository and framework. Here's how. Zagile lets you integrate, traverse, and easily find information across your software engineering environment. As we see here, each application and tool has several key attributes of information. Unfortunately, today, those repositories remain as silos and information cannot easily flow between systems unless you invest a lot of time in building specific integrations and business rules. But Zagile recognizes that those attributes with common colors can be used as pivot points to traverse the whole information environment. And that can be done with semantic web technologies. Typically, semantic web technologies are thought of in the context of connecting data across different websites. But at Zagile, we realize that the same technologies are the perfect vehicle for integration within the enterprise. Zagile has delivered a semantic framework and repository built with semantic web technologies. The repository contains ontologies for software engineering based on an ISO standard meta model that describes the software engineering domain. In other words, Zagile has already taken an industry standard to define what a bug is, how it relates to code, the profile of a QA engineer, etc. So all you have to do is plug in your tools. Zagile provides connectors for leading tools and applications, and you can build other connectors yourself, or Zagile can build them for you. Here are the three features you'll see in this quick demo. Smart search to easily find precise information, data entry forms for annotated consistent content, automated page and link generation for automatic maintenance of content. To begin the demo, we go to the Zagile corporate website and we select number two, test drive, down below. Then we log into Zagile Wicked Smart, which is hosted. And the first demo we'll show is the semantic search. So go to Tools, Semantic Search, or Smart Search. And you see we have a variety of options for power search. So we can be very granular in our search. We can search for very precise information. And note that the categories in the dropdown are hierarchical, so it's easier to find the specific category of search that you want. But I want to go over to the simple search, and I want to just uh, show you how to search for a document, for example. So I'll select document, and then I will type in owl. And now I have a list of documents that come up with owl in the subject. In addition to the list of documents corresponding to the search, we also see the various properties associated to each document. So for example, we see document source with the corresponding link, description describing the document, requirements, and various projects associated with this particular document. Very importantly, the green text represents linked data, which is a semantic web term, meaning it's a link that's generated on the fly. This is very powerful because it enables us to traverse our information environment. So for example, here we'll look at project information, and then we can traverse across to other aspects, including requirements, issues, uh, test cases, etc. So we can do this all thanks to this capability of linked data. For the second feature of the demo, we'll review how you can create content with templates and forms within Wicked Smart. So imagine you have many projects and you want to make sure to define them quickly and easily in a consistent fashion. Zagile Wicked Smart templates allow you to do this quickly and easily. So to create a new page with a template, first we go under Add as normally, select Page, and then we give a title to the name of our project. Then click on the link below, select a page template to start from. And here we see 
a list of already existing templates for various aspects of software engineering. So issues, requirements, projects, etc. So we select a project template that's already listed there. Remember, these sample templates are customizable. So they're, they're ready to go out of the box, but you can customize them or even create new ones. And click Next. And then click Save. So now we have a page that's uh, created uh, instantly for us in a consistent fashion from a template. And now we can enter various content uh, that describes this particular project. Now very importantly, you'll see some icons next to some of these fields, uh, a blue globe. That represents semantically annotated content. Because the content is semantically annotated, it means we actually know the meaning of that content behind the scenes and that's captured with the ontologies. So therefore that content can be used as source content in the future, for example, to generate new pages or to link that content with other content uh, throughout the information environment. The third and final feature of this demo deals with automating page content and link generation. So we'll go to the template examples section to demonstrate this capability. If the wiki content becomes outdated, the long-term success of the wiki is threatened. Maintaining content within a wiki is critical to the widespread adoption and continual use of the wiki. Sometimes people refer to these features as uh, wiki gardening so, because it's simply maintaining the content of the wiki. Let's see how to generate new page content using embedded queries. Even though the content in this page might look like just a regular wiki page, the content here was generated with queries. In fact, you can think of this page as a sort of enterprise information portal because it pulls information from different repositories of different tools. For example, on the left, we're pulling in information from projects, and on the right, we're pulling in information from both projects and requirements. So let's take a look at the query that generated the project content. As you can see, it's just a very simple query. It's using a standard semantic web query language called Sparkle, and it looks quite similar to a SQL query. Next, we'll take a look at a page that is actual content that Zagile uses for maintaining Wicked Smart licenses. Now, this is a very common use case for software engineering teams around the world, just keeping track of the various licenses of software components used within their own project. As the Agile engineers check in the various software components they're using in the project, the software licenses are also uh, semantically annotated. That makes it very easy for WicketSmart to generate a page reflecting the content of the licenses. Additionally, the dependencies are captured, so there's no mystery as to what the impact will be if a given module is changed. In summary, you have seen how Zagile WicketSmart makes it very easy to enter, maintain and find precise information as well as ensure that it is deeply integrated across the organization. So next steps, well we suggest you play with the sandbox just as you've seen here and then you can download Zagile Wicked Start for use in your own organization. After all it is open source. And if you wish to extend the solution further you can add connectors for various uh, applications and tools by either creating them yourselves or contacting Zagile and we can help you do so. We can also provide professional services as well as training and technical support. Thank you for your attention.